told you that there's something flowing through your veins right now that could determine whether you can save a stranger's life, whether your pregnancy might face serious complications, and whether you carry a genetic mystery that's older than humanity itself? What if I told you that this invisible difference in your blood connects you to an ancient story that scientists are still trying to understand? Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating mysteries hiding in plain sight. The bizarre world of RH positive and negative blood types. By the end of this journey, you'll understand why some people are called universal donors, why certain pregnancies can become life-threatening, and why your blood type might reveal secrets about human evolution that will blow your mind. Let's start with the basics, because this story begins with something so small you'd need a microscope to see it, yet it affects millions of lives every single day. The protein that changes everything. Right now, as blood flows through your body, your red blood cells are covered in tiny proteins. Think of these proteins like name tags or identification badges that your cells wear. One of these proteins is called the RH factor, named after the rhesus monkeys where scientists first discovered it back in the 1940s. Here's where it gets interesting. Either you have this protein or you don't. There's no in-between. If your red blood cells carry the RH protein, you're RH positive. If they don't, you're RH negative. It's that simple, yet the consequences of this difference are anything but simple. About 85% of Americans are RH positive, which means their blood cells have this protein. The remaining 15% are RH negative, meaning their cells lack it entirely. Now you might think, so what? It's just a protein. But this tiny difference has shaped human history, influenced evolution, and continues to impact lives in ways that might surprise you. The Universal Donor Mystery Let's talk about something that sounds like science fiction but is absolutely real. Universal donors. If you've ever heard someone say they have O negative blood, you've met someone whose blood is literally compatible with every person on Earth. That's right, every single person. O negative blood is called the universal donor because it can be safely transfused into anyone, regardless of their blood type. This happens because O negative blood lacks not only the RH protein, but also the A and B proteins that define other blood types. It's like having a master key that fits every lock. But here's the catch. Only about 7% of the population has O negative blood. Think about that for a moment. In a country of over 330 million people, only about 23 million have this life-saving blood type. During emergencies when there's no time to test a patient's blood type, O negative blood is what saves lives. It's the blood that ambulances carry, the blood that emergency rooms depend on, and the blood that can mean the difference between life and death. This scarcity creates a constant challenge for blood banks. While O negative donors can give to anyone, they can only receive blood from other O negative donors. It's a one-way street that makes these donors incredibly valuable but also vulnerable. The Pregnancy Paradox now, let's explore one of the most dramatic ways RH blood types affect real lives. Pregnancy. This is where the difference between positive and negative becomes a matter of life and death, and where modern medicine has had to step in to prevent tragedy. When an RH negative woman becomes pregnant with an RH positive baby, something remarkable and potentially dangerous happens. The mother's immune system, which is designed to protect her from foreign invaders, suddenly sees her own baby's blood as a threat. Here's how it works. During pregnancy, and especially during childbirth, some of the baby's blood can mix with the mother's blood. If the baby is RH positive and the mother is RH negative, her immune system doesn't recognize the RH protein. To her body, this protein looks like a dangerous invader, so it starts producing antibodies to attack it. The first pregnancy usually goes fine because the mother's body hasn't had time to build up these antibodies. But here's where it gets scary. Her body remembers. It's like her immune system keeps a wanted poster of the RH protein, ready to attack if it ever sees it again. In subsequent pregnancies with RH positive babies, those antibodies can cross the placenta and attack the baby's red blood cells. This condition is called hemolytic disease of the newborn, and it can cause severe anemia, brain damage, heart failure, and even death. 
Before modern medicine, this was a tragic reality for many families. RH-negative mothers would often lose multiple babies, not understanding why. Some families would have one healthy child followed by a series of devastating losses. The Medical Miracle Fortunately, we now have a medical miracle that prevents this tragedy, a shot called Rogam. This injection contains antibodies that essentially trick the mother's immune system, preventing it from developing its own antibodies against the RH protein. RH-negative mothers receive this shot during pregnancy and after delivery if their baby is RH positive. It's one of the greatest success stories in preventive medicine, turning what was once a common cause of infant death into a completely preventable condition. But here's something that might surprise you. This medical intervention may have actually changed human evolution. Before Rogam, RH-negative mothers had fewer surviving children, which meant the RH-negative gene was less likely to be passed on. Some scientists believe this is one reason why RH-negative blood remained relatively rare throughout human history. The Health Connection Recent research has uncovered some intriguing differences between RH-positive and negative people that go beyond pregnancy complications. Studies suggest that people with RH-negative blood may have different health patterns compared to their RH-positive counterparts. Some research indicates that RH-negative individuals might be more prone to certain allergies, digestive issues, and autoimmune conditions. They may also have different responses to stress and show variations in mental health patterns. However, it's important to note that these are statistical trends, not absolute rules, and the research is still ongoing. What's particularly interesting is that these health differences might provide clues about why RH-negative blood exists at all. In evolutionary terms, traits that cause problems usually disappear over time. The fact that RH-negative blood has persisted suggests it might offer some advantages that we're only beginning to understand. The Ancient Mystery This brings us to one of the most fascinating aspects of RH blood types, their incredible age. The RH factor isn't just old, it's ancient beyond imagination. Scientists have found similar proteins in bacteria, suggesting that this system has been around for billions of years. Even more remarkably, our human ancestors had RH positive and negative blood types long before modern humans appeared. This means that Neanderthals, Denisovans, and other early hominids were already dealing with the same blood type differences we see today. The fact that RH-negative blood has survived for so long, despite the pregnancy complications it can cause, suggests there must be some evolutionary advantage we haven't fully identified. Some theories propose that RH-negative individuals might have better resistance to certain diseases, different immune responses, or other survival advantages that have kept this trait in the human gene pool. The genetics game. Understanding how RH blood types are inherited reveals another layer of this fascinating story. Unlike some genetic traits that blend together, your H factor follows a simple dominant recessive pattern. RH positive is dominant, which means you only need one RH positive gene from either parent to be RH positive yourself. To be RH negative, you need to inherit RH negative genes from both parents. This is why RH negative blood is relatively rare. Both parents must carry the gene, and you must inherit the recessive version from each of them. This genetic pattern creates some interesting family dynamics. Two RH-positive parents can have an RH-negative child if they both carry the recessive gene. Conversely, if one parent is RH-negative and the other is RH-positive, their children have a 50-50 chance of being either positive or negative, depending on which genes they inherit. The Global Picture The distribution of RH-negative blood around the world tells a fascinating story about human migration and population genetics. RH-negative blood is most common in people of European descent, particularly those from the Basque region of Spain and France, where up to 35% of the population is RH-negative. In contrast, RH-negative blood is extremely rare in many Asian and African populations, sometimes occurring in less than 1% of people. This uneven distribution has led to interesting theories about human migration patterns and the origins of different populations. 
Some researchers have suggested that the high frequency of Rh negative blood in certain European populations might be related to historical isolation, genetic bottlenecks, or even advantages in specific environments. However, these theories remain speculative, and the true reasons for these geographic differences are still being studied. The Blood Bank Challenge The rarity of Rh negative blood creates ongoing challenges for blood banks and hospitals worldwide. While Rh negative individuals make up only 15% of the population, they require 100% Rh negative blood for transfusions. This creates a constant supply and demand imbalance. During emergencies, natural disasters, or mass casualty events, the shortage of Rh negative blood can become critical. Blood banks must maintain careful inventories and often issue urgent appeals for Rh negative donors. The situation is even more challenging for people with rare blood types within the Rh negative category. This scarcity also affects medical procedures. Surgeries for Rh negative patients may need to be scheduled around blood availability, and some procedures might be delayed if sufficient Rh negative blood isn't available. The Future of Blood As we look to the future, scientists are working on solutions that could revolutionize how we think about blood types. Researchers are developing artificial blood substitutes that could work for anyone, regardless of blood type. Others are exploring ways to convert blood from one type to another using enzymes. Gene therapy might eventually allow us to modify blood types or even eliminate the problems associated with Rh incompatibility. Some scientists are investigating whether we could use the patient's own stem cells to generate compatible blood, eliminating the need for donors altogether. These advances could transform medicine, making blood shortages a thing of the past, and eliminating the complications that arise from blood type differences. The Personal Impact For individuals, knowing your RH blood type is more than just medical trivia. It's potentially life-saving information. If you're RH negative, this knowledge is crucial for pregnancy planning and medical emergencies. If you're O negative, you carry the responsibility and privilege of being a universal donor. Many people discover their blood type when they first donate blood, during pregnancy, or when they need medical care. But given the importance of this information, it's worth finding out proactively. A simple blood test can provide this vital information that could affect major life decisions. For RH negative women, knowing their blood type allows for proper medical care during pregnancy. For anyone, knowing whether you're a potential universal donor could inspire you to donate blood regularly, potentially saving multiple lives. The Continuing Mystery Despite decades of research, RH blood types continue to surprise scientists. New discoveries about the immune system, genetics, and human evolution regularly shed new light on these ancient proteins. Recent studies have suggested connections between blood types and susceptibility to certain diseases, response to medications, and even personality traits, though much of this research is still in early stages. What we do know is that the simple presence or absence of a single protein on our red blood cells connects us to a story that spans billions of years of evolution, affects millions of pregnancies, saves countless lives through blood donation, and continues to influence human health in ways we're still discovering. The next time you think about your blood type, remember that you're carrying a piece of ancient history in your veins. Whether you're Rh positive or negative, you're part of a genetic legacy that has shaped human survival, influenced evolution, and continues to impact lives every single day. Your blood type isn't just a medical detail. It's a connection to the deepest mysteries of life itself, a reminder that even the smallest differences can have the most profound consequences and a testament to the incredible complexity and resilience of human biology. In a world where we often focus on what divides us, Perhaps it's worth remembering that the differences in our blood, these ancient, invisible proteins, have taught us some of our greatest lessons about cooperation, medical innovation, and the fundamental interconnectedness of human life. And that's it for today's deep dive into the bizarre differences between positive and negative RH blood. If you found this interesting, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, 
and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more fascinating topics like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.